Want to learn how to make your very own reversible corset belt? Then keep on watching. your go-to channel for fashion and beauty here on YouTube. And I just want to say really quickly, I was just checking my analytics the other day and I noticed that we hit 2.3K subscribers here on YouTube. And I know it's kind of like a random number to celebrate, but you know what? I'm all about celebrating like every single win. A year ago this time, I didn't even have 400 subscribers, let alone 2.3K. So I just want to say shout out to you guys because you guys are so amazing. And if you guys aren't already subscribed to my channel, go ahead and click that subscription button and you can join the Look by Hema fam. Now with that out of the way, you guys are here to learn how to make your very own denim corset belt. And I'm gonna show you guys how to do it from start to finish. I just love how these corsets turned out and I know that you guys will absolutely love the corsets that you make. So if you end up recreating this DIY, go ahead and post a picture to your Instagram stories and tag me. My Instagram is at looksbyhema. Go ahead and tag me and I will repost you. Now with that out of the way, go ahead and grab an old pair of jeans and we'll get started on making this DIY lace up corset and oh yeah, did I mention it's reversible? Yeah, you guys are gonna love this. Let's get started. <laughs> While doing some spring cleaning, I was organizing my fabric collection and found these old jeans that I was saving for a rainy day. Well, that day had come because I thought it would be the perfect time to finally make myself a denim corset. After deciding I wanted to make a corset with the jeans, I needed inspiration for the design. So I beelined for my favorite source of internet inspiration, Pinterest. There were so many options out there for corsets and corset belts, but I liked the silhouette of this bleached bama corset the best. I decided to go with this, but of course I'll be putting my own swats on this design and making it my own. Feeling inspired, it was now time for me to start designing, so I got my dress form, aka Stylisha, to help me out. But before we can start anything, you'll need to know what materials you'll need for this design project. For this DIY, you'll need a pair of jeans, any color, or one yard of denim fabric. You'll also need thread. The color is up to you, but I'm gonna be using white thread fabric scissors, plenty of pins, a ruler, any kind will work, but I like to use a clear graph ruler, a French curve, curved ruler or armhole curve like I am using, a tape measure, a pencil, one fourth inch grommets, and there are so many different kinds of boning, but for this project, I'll be using steel boning. There are some other materials as well, but I'll show you guys those as we go. Now let's put these materials to use. Now it's time to figure out the final design. I'll be doing this using bias tape and pins to create style lines on my dress form. This is a great way to see how a design will look on the body before you touch any fabric and you can always adjust and repin. I decided I wanted the side seam to lead straight to the back instead of having a cup since I want this to be a corset belt. I'd love to know what other DIY projects you'd like to see from me in the future. Be sure to leave a comment below and have post notifications turned on so you'll be the first to know when I release that video. Now that the design is planned, this is the time to take measurements. The most important areas to measure for this design are the center front, waist, center back, and side seams. After I took those measurements on the dress form, I compared those on myself since the corset I'll be making is for myself. I then noted adjustments, which is what I suggest you do when you're making your corset in order for it to fit perfectly on you. Now that we have the final design and measurements, it's time to make a pattern. 
This part is kind of hard to explain, but hopefully by seeing it on screen, it will help you to recreate it. You basically want to create two perpendicular lines. The first line represents the center front, so make that line your center front measurement. For mine, it will be 11.5 inches long. The second line is the bottom hem. You want to create a third line where your waist will be. Be sure to take your all around waist measurement and minus two inches from it. If it is too big, it will not lace up nicely. Now divide that number by four. Whatever number you get is how long you will make that third line. Using your side seam measurement, make the side seam line. Connect the side seam and the center front lines using curved line shapes that mimic how it looked on the dress form. This front pattern piece will be cut into two to create a princess seam. Add half an inch seam allowance all around each piece. The back pattern piece is really simple. Use a center back measurement, the same waist measurement we use for the front pattern piece, and a line for the hem to create three lines. Connect the three lines using the side seam measurement. Slightly curve the top and bottom of the pattern using your curve ruler. I know patterns can be hard to create for beginners, so feel free to ask me questions in the comment section and I'll do my best to answer. Split the pattern piece just like the front and add a half an inch seam allowance all around. Now that we have four pattern pieces, we can cut the fabric and start sewing. As I mentioned in the beginning of the video, this will be a reversible corset, so I originally planned on using these two jeans. Upon further inspection, aka I just looked a little bit harder, I found these two leg scraps from a previous design project, so the blue denim mom jeans survive another day. Now let's get to cutting these jeans. To get the most accurate cut, pin down all pattern pieces to your jeans. I suggest using the lowest part of the jean leg so that you can use the upper portion to make yourself a cute pair of shorts. You'll also notice that all pattern pieces are a cut two, meaning that you need two of each piece except for the center back pattern. That will be cut on the fold and I'll show you how to do that in a second. Now you just cut out all the pattern pieces. To make the center back on the fold, cut open the jean leg and place the pattern on the widest portion of the fabric. Pinch the fabric on the center back line, fold it down, pin and cut it out. Now that all the fabric is cut, it's time to sew. Now I will pin all the seams together. The front pieces go together, the back pieces go together, and they connect at the side seams. These will be sewn at a half an inch seam allowance. If you don't have a sewing machine, you can also hand sew. It will take a little bit longer, but trust me, you'll be satisfied with the end result. Now just repeat this step for all the seams. Then I'll take it over to the iron and press all the seams open. With the open seams, I will use this to make almost like little pouches to slide the boning into. Make sure you make the boning one inch shorter than each seam you're inserting into. You will need special boning cutters to cut through the boning. To make my pouches, I will top stitch on each side of the seam line on the right side of the fabric. This is what it looks like all top stitch. Now the boning can be inserted into each channel. If you didn't want to make your corset reversible, I think it looks pretty cute like this, but the perfectionist in me needs to clean this up. So to make the corset reversible, repeat the same steps for the second denim fabric of your choice. The only difference is you do not need to top stitch or insert boning into it. There only needs to be boning on the center front of the reverse side. Thank you. 
It looks something like this when you're done. Now that the two sides are prepared, it is time to combine them. I do this by pinning right sides together, making sure to line up the fabric precisely. Then sew the top and bottom a half of an inch seam allowance, flip it inside out and press. Now on the outside, I line up the grommets one inch apart from each other. I used eight grommets on each side. Then I'm going to mark the placement with a black marker. I then use my seam ripper to pick a hole through both layers of the fabric. Cut it slightly, then widen the hole using a pencil. Follow the instructions on whatever grommet packet you get, but this is how I found that I like to apply them. I'm using a grommet toolkit that I got on Amazon. It comes with a bunch of different colored grommets, so if you need a toolkit, I'll leave a link to this one in the description box. This is what the corset belt looks like in the end. I'm very happy with how it turned out and it fits perfectly. I wasn't sure about the contrast stitching at first, but I'm so glad I decided to do it. I chose to use white ribbon to tie the blue one and black to tie the tan side. It surprises me how much I'm actually loving the tan side. I definitely see myself wearing this a lot. I'd love to know you guys' thoughts on how this turned out in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on the next DIY design project. As always, see you guys next time. Bye!